Now I'd like to show you how you can measure depth using a pair of stereo cameras. This is my physical apparatus. Please note the position of the left and right cameras. I'm using the modified version of this VI from the Vision Essentials Guide download package. This modified version is compatible with the physical apparatus I just showed you. Here I'm using a step wedge on a riser made from plastic bricks. Each step corresponds to one centimeter. Let me place this vertically now. And I'm going to go to semi-global block matching algorithm. Let's select the depth image. And initially it looks very hard to understand. What we want to do is set the maximum depth to correspond to the location of the baseboard in the stereo vision system. Scroll around here a little bit and I see that the baseboard is evidently 22.7 centimeters away from the optical center of the camera. Let me key in that value. Great, we've cleared up almost all of the clutter and now I'm going to try rearranging the step wedge. Sometimes you can improve the depth image a bit depending on the angle with which the object is placed compared to the cameras. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's see if we can get some information from this depth image. I'll draw your attention right here. Now as you roam your cursor over the image, if you look down at that depth measurement gauge, you see that the depth increases by one centimeter increments as you descend the step wedge. So the depth, when it's a larger number, tells you that the object is farther away from the cameras. So the purple is closest, around 18 centimeters, and the green is the furthest. You can make some additional fine adjustments here. I'm decreasing the maximum depth to effectively remove that riser. It's interesting because you start to see some additional detail emerging on the lowest portion of the step wedge. What I'm going to do here is reduce the window size to increase the resolution and you can start to clearly see the two uh, little plastic bumps on that, on that brick. And let's just try to see if we can really bring out those two little circular parts. And let me try one more time adjusting the angle of the object and see what we can find. All right, and now you have a better idea of how you can measure depth from a pair of stereo cameras.